so I am concerned. I barely put any white dye in this thing. I really did because I was nervous about everything I've heard with uh, pigmented liquid. And you can see the white's not even really solid. It's pretty clear. And oh God, what the hell is happening? It's like seeping through. So it looks like I'm going to be doing... Did I never take the little blue tag off? That's funny. Looks like I'm going to be doing some surgery to this water block. Jeez, what a shame. This came out really cool, I thought. This was my first PC I built. I got to gut it. I'm probably going to have to go at it with a toothbrush and all the fins. I'm going to have to take it down to the bare block. Can bet clear liquids going in it next time. I really, I put like a cap full of white dye. In fact, I'll show you what I used. Yeah, this stuff right here. I use this. And look, you can see how little I used. Uh, most of the water is not only distilled water, I actually went out of my way to get deionized water. I had a friend at the hospital. Uh, she works there and she was able to just get me a water bottle of the stuff out of the machine, which was really cool of her. I have cables for this I'm going to put in when it all gets reworked. I have some white cables. And disappointing about that color. I really, I tried to be safe by only using a small amount and God, look, look at all the fins. Those are those tight fins it has to rush through to get good heat transfer. That's like that critical point. And look, like half of them are blocked. Maybe even more, maybe even more. So clear liquid from now on, I think, unless I get, you know, I see someone's system with clear liquid and they've been running it for years and there's nothing clogged. Maybe I'll trust the product then. But boy, oh boy, was that disappointing. I mean, it's not super disappointing because the cooling's still pretty good. It's not totally restricted yet. Uh, about 70 degrees under full load with a, a hefty overclock on the CPU. And Lord knows how, how clogged that is. That's probably clogged too. So I think I'd like to do like, maybe not live, but like a full nonstop overhead video of me tearing this whole thing apart piece by piece, inch by inch, row by row. And uh, I'd like to put glass on it. I kind of want to update it to the elite version of the case without actually buying one. And yes, that is, for those of you wondering, that is push pull with a 280 rad and an S340. So many people have said that doesn't fit. I disagree. If you take out the back bar, this guy, it totally fits. I took my bar that was along here and put it on the bottom just to get some more use out of it. But yeah, you can totally fit, fit a push pull with a 280 rad if you are willing to take out that bar. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed my, uh, my oops, what happened here video, and uh, I hope you look forward to the gutting and rebuilding of the Party All Night mod.